I love that. I got the bus and gets in the car. They've been using the color gray. I love that. <laughs> you see? I know what I'm talking about, man. I know what I'm talking about, like I said. You're gonna start to see a lot of gray cars now. On the way over here, gray. A lot of gray cars. Right? A lot, a lot, a lot of gray cars. So, anyhow, um, yeah, so I got up this morning. Uh, left Pam house around 10 30 because I got up this morning. And she started doing, you know, these hand signals and shit, right? Trying to send me a subliminal message that, um, you know, these racist cops, that she's in league with them. And that um, because of what they've done to, to me as a TI and to others, uh, my brother as a TI, that, um, you know, that she that she she basically didn't leave with them. And I'm like, wow. And as she did that, the New York Predator Department again used their sirens. So I was like, okay. You know, like I said, from time to time, she'll do something so outrageous that, um, you know, I, 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 to, I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I was like, I gotta go. So... I left. I was like, so I gave Ethan the keys, and you know he's home tomorrow because there's no school. See, gray for another gray car, another gray. See what I told you guys. What I tell you guys. I know what I'm talking about, All right? It's not coincidence you see three gray cars together. Just like you saw three red cars. You know, it's a pattern, right? There's the, the number three. You know, as a TI, can have many different um, significance depending on what it is. Uh, how they're targeting you, all right, and what messages they're trying to convey. Remember, I talk about the use of color psychology, right? The color can be used as a weapon to affect, to extremely affect your emotional state as well as your thought pattern. Many people don't want to understand this or even believe this or know this, I should say, you know, but they believe in bullshit. But instead of knowing the things that can save them and save their children and each other, right, in this war against, particularly me as a black person and us as black people, they have, they have no clue, okay, and that's the majority of nigger peers, right, I think those who are more African-centered, mine uh, have a more African-centered uh, way of thinking, uh, know this, is that my, oh, look, my bus coming already, wow, okay, um, yeah, so again, you know, like I said, I just had to go. I had to leave. I was like, yo, I, I'm, I, I, I'm out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, talk to you guys in this video.